Hello everybody, my name is Kieran from The Checkpoint, the only gaming channel that does your homework for you. But today, I'm going to bring you guys a Call of Duty Ghost multiplayer video. Now, I've been playing the game for a couple of days now. Uh, I've sort of messing around with different guns, equipment, uh, different classes, etc, etc. Et and I've come up with two custom classes that I find are sort of my go-to classes that I'd use. If I was, you know, not feeling very confident, I'd, I'd go to these classes because I believe that these are the best classes in the game to use. Not saying that could be the same for you, but for me, this is what works very well. So let's get right into it. I've got two classes for you guys today. One of which is sort of a submachine gun, kind of like rushing class. And the other one is going to be a objective-based assault rifle class. Let's get into the submachine gun class. So, the gun that I'm going to be using is a Vepper submachine gun, V-E-P-R. Now, this, I think, is the second best gun in the game, it's in my personal opinion, after the MSBS. The reason being that is it's got good damage, it's got a great magazine size, it's 42 I believe. And the recoil is pretty good as long as good iron sights, which means you can get a lot of shots on target without having to worry about recoil taking it up and above to the skies beyond. So I really like the Vepa submachine gun, I'd recommend you trying it out for you if you have not already. Uh, the attachments I'm going to be using for this are extended mag and flash suppressor. Now. Extended mag, I just find so useful. I can easily put it on every gun and be happy. But especially with the Vepa, if you put extended mags on it, you get 63 rounds in your magazine, which is a lot. And I would recommend using that if you want to. And, well, I do recommend using it because it, it really boosts your the sort of um, the amount of damage you can do uh, to enemies in their spawn. Instead of having to wait a few seconds to reload, you can be in the action straight away. And yeah, I, I just think I, it's amazing. I love extended bags. I love you. Uh, the next attachment we're going to be using is the flash suppressor. Now, if you don't know what this does, basically, in previous Call of Duty, the suppressor it silenced your weapon and reduced muzzle flash. In Call of Duty Ghost, they've split that in two. They've, you've got the suppressor and the flash suppressor. The flash suppressor does not silence your weapon. It completely it just removes the muzzle flash, which is a little smoky sort of fiery stuff that comes out of your gun and kind of distracts you, uh, decreasing your your accuracy and uh, hurting your aim a little bit. And then, of course, you have the normal suppressor, which silences your gun. Um, I like the flash suppressor because it makes it easier to kill enemies at a medium range. I know this is a submachine gun. It's got a high fire rate, and the recoil is pretty good, so you can quite easily kill enemies at a medium range, especially with the flash suppressor. So now let's get on to are perks. Now I have opted for no secondary weapon and equipment, which means we can have 11 perk points. I want this to be a perk heavy build, which can make a really versatile versatile class, because I think the Vepa is a very versatile weapon. So we've got 11 perk points, and the first perk we're going to be using is Ready Up. Now what Ready Up does, it brings your weapon up more quickly after sprinting. Now this is absolutely vital, I think, for any submachine gun class, because think about it, you're an SMG guy, you're going to be running. You're going to be running a lot. If you can bring up your gun faster, you're going to be ready to engage in that gunfight as soon as possible. So that's why I like it. And it's only one point. I think that's very good. I think that should be two points. But it's just one point, so it's a great addition to the class. Next up, we've got Steady Aim, uh, which, as you know, you know what it does. It increases your hip fire accuracy. It kind of ties in with Ready Up, so you can quickly recover from sprinting to engage in that gunfight. You can quickly spray him down. Combined with the high fire rate of the Vepa, it will it works really well. Next, we've got Quick Draw, which costs you three perk points. Now, again, Quick Draw kind of says it in the name. You aim bounce out quicker. Now, I know we've got Steady Aim, but this is a versatile class that we're building. So, yeah, at close range, you can you can aim, you can use Steady Aim to hit fire, but at a medium range, you can use Quick Draw to quickly hose those guys down up in that middle range section. So that increases your versatility for this class. Next we've got off the grid. Now, I know it might seem a little bit cheap, but especially there's so many satcoms, especially at the start, you know, the opening couple of weeks of the game. But I also like off the grid because it, it gives you that element of surprise, so the enemies won't be expecting you. And again, again, that increases your versatility to the class. So you can remain off the radar of the enemy's satcom. So that will, again, like I said, it will surprise the enemies. Um, they're not going to be expecting you, and it will help you win a lot more gunfights. Now the final two points that we're going to be spending is on the perk Focus. Now, what Focus does, it's kind of, it's basically, um, what's it called, toughness in Black Ops 2. 
it reduces your flinch whilst being shot. And another feature it has is that it reduces weapon spray. Spray? Um, what's it called? Sway. That's it. It reduces that. Not so useful for a submachine gun, but I think the uh, the flinch is definitely why we're choosing this. So you're both you're both in a gunfight against an enemy. If you're flinching less, you have a greater chance of winning that gunfight, which again increases your versatility and your power and your strength. So that is our rushing class. It's a very good sort of slayer class. I'd try and stay off the objective because you you're pretty vulnerable to things like grenades and tactical equipment like concussions and things like that. So I'd I'd sort of hang around the objective. This is what I like to do. Say domination, sort of hover around a map around the B flag and pick people off, and it works really well. So that's our first class. Let's get into the second class, which is the SC2010 assault rifle. Now this class is going to be our again, like I said, our assault class. Um, it's got, it's kind of be an objective class. So the attachments I'm going to use for the SC2010 are the red dot sight and the extended mags. Again, I I told you a few minutes ago why I like the extended mags. Um, it's because it just really increases your weapon's versatility. You can kill more enemies in one magazine clip, which means you can you can sort of kill more enemies in a specific amount of time before you have to go and reload, which can be very very good. Especially if you're capturing a flag, if suddenly three enemies run towards you, you have a greater chance of killing those. If you didn't have extended mags, you'd have to reload probably, and you wouldn't be able to kill all three of them. In extended mags, you just might be able to get those three kills. And again, the red dot sight improves your accuracy. Um, the iron sights of the SC2010 are they're okay, but it just it just makes weapons so much more easier to use, especially at mid to long range. I, I just love the red dot sight. And the reticles, uh, it's your choice really. I like the default one, but there's you can mess around with that and see what works for you. It's all personal preference, I think, when it comes to that. We're also going to be using a Semtex grenade. And when it comes to game modes like Domination, I prefer Semtex to frag grenades, and this is why. If you're running up towards a flag and an enemy's capturing it, if you throw a frag grenade, that gr that grenade will bounce everywhere. It will, I don't know, it will bounce off a wall and won't go very near the enemy. If you throw a Semtex, that will stick where you aim it. It will go where you want it to go, and that will be easier for you to kill an opponent on the objective. Now again, we're not going to be using a tactical grenade or a secondary. Again, we do have extended mags, so we less of a need for a secondary weapon. I just like to pick up um, weapons off the ground to use as a secondary. If you can use, a, if you can find an SMG, that'd be great. But any gun, you know, for the moment, will do. So that leaves us with ten perk points to use. So let's get into those. First one is going to be ready up. Again, bring your gunfight, bring your gunfight, bring your gun up quicker after sprinting. If you're running from one objective to the next and you suddenly come across an unexpected enemy, that will ready up, will bring your gun up quicker, and it will improve your chances of winning that gunfight. And we've also got quick draw, which can help you win more gunfights by aiming down sight quicker. Same perk at the moment to the last one, focus. One more gunfights, very, very useful, especially at a medium range. But this is where it changes. Our last four points are going to be spent on tack resist and blast field. They cost two points each, and it's basically tactical mask and flat jacket from any previous COD titles. Tack resist makes you um, not vulnerable. It makes you not vulnerable. It makes you. What's the word? What's the word I'm meant to be using? Stun grenades and flashbangs and EMPs don't affect you. I don't know what the word is. I've completely blanked out. Oops. So, yeah. When you're capturing a flag, any flash grenades and grenades like that that come your way will not affect you in the situs, which is good. I think that actually they have a slight effect on you, but that, that doesn't really matter. You'll, it's still a lot better than not having attack resist. And also blast shield protects you from any explosives, any grenades also capturing a flag. So that improves your chance of obviously staying alive and capturing that flag and helping your team out. So that they're the two classes. I hope you guys found this useful and I hope you're going to take... Take these classes away, try them out, maybe mix them up a little bit to your liking. This is just what works for me, it might not work for you, but it probably will, because the SE2010 and the Vepa are probably, I'd say, two of the best guns in the game. But thank you for watching, this video has gone a little bit longer than what I've wanted it to be, but that's that's fine. We can deal with that, I can deal with that. So thank you guys very much for watching, my name is Big Kieran. Uh, quick thank you to Exclusive Ace for sending me uh, screenshots of this, again I... I don't have a capture card, so um, as you know, it's hard for me to get gameplay and images like this. So, huge thank you to you, Ace, um, great friend of mine, and he's helped me out a lot here with providing these images.
of these classes for me. But thank you guys for watching, and I will talk to you soon. Thank you.